Assalamu alaikum and peace. It's Nyla, Coach Nyla. Assalamu alaikum, peace. It's Fatima, Coach Fatima. And we're co wives and co founders of Outstanding Personal, Personal Relationships. Relationships. And I was in personal relationships. So, <laughs> and in this video, we are going to talk about bonding. Yeah. Bonding with your spouse. This is the month of bonding. Right. We are talking about that. Um, we, if you guys have not seen our um, our blog yesterday, or not yesterday, our blog earlier this week on Monday, we were talking about bonding with your co-wife. Right. Um, so make sure you guys check that out. Um, that's the the blog before this one, and the video before this one. If you go to, if you are watching this on the blog, uh, from the blog post, and if you're not, you know, um, why not? You, why not? If you're not part of the blog, <laughs> you know, if you are not subscribed to us or anything like that, definitely check us out, outstandingpersonalrelationships.com, mm -hmm. and sign up, and you guys will get that information and. We'll also get the emails of when our blogs go out and our blogs go out Mondays and Thursdays so twice a week so yes this video though this blog we're talking about or blog or blog yeah. we are talking about bonding with your spouse and how yeah. important it is to bond with your spouse and how to affect, what, let's say effectively, effectively you know bond with your spouse what does that mean what does mm -hmm. it look like what does that entail Right. Well, first of all, you know, you want to have the proper intentions to bond mm -hmm. and not create distance. Because mm -hmm. I, I know sometimes when we get upset, we want to create distance. Or if we don't know what to say or do, we create distance. Right. You know, and it's important to say, OK, I want to bond with this this spouse of mine because they're my spouse. Mm -hmm. So don't shy away from the fact that you can do that. And don't feel like it's a weak thing to do or like, you you know, vulnerability is not um, a weakness. It's a superpower. Right. Exactly. So it's important. Yeah. And I like I like that you said that you have to be intentional because yeah. things can happen. Yeah. You can say, OK, well, you know, we're good. You know, we're happy together. We have a good time together and everything like that. But as time goes on, what will you continue to have that bond right. or will you get or will your relationships will you, you know, drift yeah would you drift would, would your you relationship drift? get stale mm -hmm. because you're not being committed to keeping things fresh or right. committed to exactly. knowing that you are changing over time mm -hmm. that's the one thing that's constant is change we consistently change okay. and sometimes have you guys heard of that though when people they change and say oh well we drifted apart Right, something happened so in the middle. Right, we yeah. drifted apart, or we grew apart, and everything like that. Right. A lot of times, that's because couples aren't cons um, intentional and consistent with creating these bonds within right. their relationships. Right, and if you don't know that, we're here to tell you you have to be. You know, if you want best practices or best results, you have to have best practices, and mm -hmm. you have to be consistent with these things. You right. can't just do it one day. And we always make that that joke or that comparison. You want to take a shower once, say I'm good. Right. <laughs> you need more than one. You got to be consistent to keep your hygiene up. So to keep the health of your marriage up or going strong, you have to have these consistent, healthy practices. You know, to to keep that foundation of your bond solid. Exactly. So it doesn't shift or drift. Exactly. <laughs> so real quick, let's give you guys a couple of tips. For one, what we said before, be intentional. Be intentional. So you know what? This is what I want it to look like. You know, and you guys sit together like, hey, how, what will happen? Let's even talk about, right. talk about that. Sit down and speak about it. Like, okay, we know that everything, you know, everything changes. Yes. One thing that's constant is change. So mm -hmm. if things are to change in our relationship, how do we get back to, you know, how do we get back to us? Yeah. You know, like if right. you before you were married or when you were first married, newly married, and when there were no kids around and things like that, and then kids change things. Yeah. How do you connect again, right. you know, after children or during children or whatever you want to do exactly. or whatever, you know, you want to call all that, it. All of that. And then yeah. being honest, too. Right. Being honest about how you feel or your concerns. Don't say things just because you think they might be... Um, too harsh. Mm -hmm. You be kind when you say something, but definitely voice your concerns and be honest about them. Then you can fix it because oftentimes, if we don't know something's going on with our spouse, then we can't help fix it. Exactly. So being transparent, yeah. being authentic, 
you know, being able to communicate and we talk about communication. We're going to talk about just bonding in so much more detail in our relationship rep, relationship mastery inner circle. This Sunday, we are going live for our relationship mastery inner circle members. If you're not part of the relationship mastery inner circle, please be a part of it. Make sure you find out more about it. I was in the personal relationships.com slash RM for relationship mastery and sign up because we go live with our members. And not only do we go live, we train deeply on the topics that we talk about every single month. All three of us. All three of us. All three of us. So you get it from different angles and you get the worksheets, you get all of that good stuff in order to move your relationship forward and move the needle forward in your relationship exactly. and create those strong bonds. Right. You know, and whether you're in monogamy or polygyny, but even in, in being in polygyny, we're going to talk about bonding with your co-wife. We're going to talk about bonding with yourself. We're going to talk about bonding with your spouse, bonding with children, bonus children, all those things like that. We go really deep in it if you guys have any questions definitely post them let us know we would definitely look forward to speaking more about it and training more on it and talking more about it but those who are in the relationship mastery inner circle will get the they'll get the the I was gonna say the cats and yow, but you know they get all of that. You know, they get the bees, the bees, they get all of that. You know, the whole nuts and bolts of it all. Yes. So, um, but yeah, bonding with you. We we talked about it. Just a quick recap. Make sure you're intentional. Yeah. You know, make sure you're intentional. Make sure that you're authentic. Make sure you're communicating and constantly growing. We're talking about the GLC guys. All the time. We're talking about the GLC <laughs> that you are growing intentionally yeah. you are you are loving fearlessly and you are connecting on a higher level every single day that yeah. goes with bonding every single thing that we talk about with glc yeah. goes with bonding period so yeah yeah y'all we gonna wrap but we really hope you got some little quick little nuggets and little um best daily practices be consistent uh practice glc of course and hopefully we get to see you this weekend. And we also have our yes. podcast, right? Um, Candid Co-Ed Conversations, where we talk about all, all the things, things through the eyes, eyes of co-wives. <laughs> so check that out, please. Where can I check that out? Outstanding Personal Relationships <laughs> dot com slash C C C podcast. Yeah. Right. Yep. So yes, yeah, sign up for that, and you get a secret season. Yeah. Get the secret season just by signing up. So, yeah. It's good stuff, guys. We look forward to seeing you guys, and we definitely look forward to seeing our Relationship Mastery Inner Circle members on Sunday, this Sunday. Yes. So, where the goodness are you forgetting what Sunday is? No, I don't know. I keep saying Sunday, but it's something like that. I don't know. I believe it's the 16th. The 16th. I might be wrong. I've been wrong before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, that, you know, and we look forward to seeing you guys there. Um, definitely let us know. Um, comment, like, subscribe, hit that bell. If those are on YouTube and watching us on YouTube, mm -hmm. make sure you hit that bell so you're constantly being um, reminded or you get the notifications mm -hmm. when we go live. Mm -hmm. So until next time, we'll see you soon. Assalamu alaikum. Peace. Peace.